Hello, you are welcome. In this video, you are going to solve this problem. I have 2 power t equals t power 32. I'm solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, there is t here. So, I can start by eliminating this t. And that can happen if I multiply this exponent by 1 over t. I have 2 power t raised to the power of this is 1 over t. And this equals, I do the same thing here, I have t power 32. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t. So, let's apply this index law. If you have a power n, raised to the power of n, and this equals a power n times n. If you apply this index law here, you are going to have 2 power t times 1. That is t over t. And this equals t power 32 times 1. That is 32 over t. So from here, you have t over t is 1. So what you are going to have will be 2 equals t power 32 divided by t. Now, the next step will be for us to eliminate this 32 because I just want all the numbers to be in one part of this equation and the variable to be in one part. So for me to eliminate this 32, I need to multiply this exponent by 1 over 32 and do the same thing again. I have 1 over 32. So going by the same identity, this particular identity here, a power n times n equals a power n times n. That means I'm going to have 2 power 1 over 32, and this equals t power 32 times 1. That is 32 divided by t 32 or 32t. So what happens here is that 32 eliminate 32. I will then have 2 power 1 over 32 equals t power 1 over t. Remember there is t here. So, I have it right there. Now, if you observe, there is t here. There is t here. So, what I'm going to do is, this is, the, this is 2 and this is 32. If I can make this 2 to equate the 32, that means I will just compare them. So, for us to achieve that, I'm going to make use of equivalent fraction. So, instead of writing 1 over 32, what we have here, I can simply have it as 2 over 64. Because if 2 cancel itself once, cancel 64, I have 32. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to have 2 power 2 over 64 equals t power 1 over t. Now, what I'm trying to get is to make sure that this base here is the same as what we have here. So that's why I'm making use of this. So at this point, the next thing I'm going to do will be to factor out these two. So I can have it as 2 power 2 times 1 over 64. And this equals t power 1 over t. Now remember, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n raised to the power of n. So going by this identity, all I'm going to have will be 2 power 2 raised to the power of 1 over 64 and this equals t power 1 over t. So 2 power 2 is 4, so that means I'm going to have 4 to the power of 1 over 64 equals t power 1 over t. Now this is 4, this is 64, still not the same. I go by it again. I have 1 over 64 equals 2 over 1. 28 because to divide itself once divide 128 we have 64 so we replace this with 2 over 128 so i'm going to have 4 power 2 over 128 equals t power 1 over t so let's factor at the 2 i'm going to have 4 power 2 times 1 over 128 equals t power 1 over t. So from here, I go back to the same identity. If you have a power n times n equals a power n or power n. 
So I'm going to have 4 power 2 all to the power of 1 over 1, 28, and this equals t power 1 over t. So from here, 4 power 2 is 16. I have 16 power, this is 1 over 128, and this equals t power 1 over t. So since 16 here is not still the same as 128, I go back to the same trait of equivalent fractions. I have 1 over 128 equals 2 over is, is 2 6 or 2 5 6. It's 2 5 6. Have you seen it? Because 2 can cancel itself once, cancel 2 5 6, we have 1 2 8. So let's make use of 2 over 2 5 6. I'm going to replace this by 2 over 2 5 6. So I'm going to have 16 to the power. This is 2 over 2 5 6 equals t power 1 over t. So right now, I can factor out the 2. So I'm going to have 16 power 2 times 1 all over 2 5 6 equals t power 1 over t. So we go back to the same identity. If you have a power n times m, equals a power n all to the power of n. That means I'm going to have 16 power 2 raised to the power of 1 all over 2, 5, 6 equals t power 1 over t. And what is the value of 16 power 2? 16 power 2 equals 16 times 16. And this is 256. So we are simply going to have this is 2. 5, 6, that is 16 power 2, that is 2, 5, 6, raised to the power of 1 all over 2, 5, 6, equals t power 1 over t. Now, look at it here. We have 2, 5, 6 here, we have 2, 5, 6 here, we have t here, we have t here. Now, this ultimately leads us to this particular identity. If you have a power 1 over a, and this equals b power 1 over b, that means you can easily equate this. You are going to have 1 over a equals 1 over b. And if you cross multiply, you are going to have a times 1, that is a equals b. So, the same thing here. If you have 1 all over 2, 5, 6, and this equals 1 over t, you can solve for t and have 1 all over 2, 5, 6 equals 1 all over t. I cross multiply. I have t times 1. That is t equals 2, 5, 6 times 1. That is 2, 5, 6. So that means t equals 2, 5, 6. Now, what I'm going to do next will be for me to substitute that value for t and let's check if it's going to satisfy this equation. So I have check and t equals 2, 5, 6. I have 2 power t equals t power 32. And I substitute 2, 5, 6 for t. I have 2 power 2, 5, 6 equals 2, 5, 6 power 32. And from here, I have 2 power 2, 5, 6 equals 2, 5, 6 here is simply 2 to the power of 8. And this is raised to the power of 32. So, going by this index law, a power n or power n equals a power n times n. If you apply this identity here, you are simply going to have 2 power 2 5 6 equals 2 power 8 times 2 that is 6 carry over 1 8 times 3 24 24 plus 1 that is 25 so you have 2 power 2 5 6 equals 2 power 2 5 6 so that is it thank you and goodbye see you again